Hello and welcome to M&A Talk on businessesforsale.com where we talk M&A, mergers and acquisitions for the SME, that's a small and medium-sized enterprise. And today I'm talking to businessesforsale.com CEO Andrew Mark, who he's also my brother, and I can vouch that he is absolutely passionate about valuation. And today we're going to have a very brief explanation about the importance of valuation in the buying and selling process. Andrew, welcome to the M&A Talk. Hello, thank you for having me. Yes, I can vouch. I am your brother. And you can vouch that you're an expert in valuation because I... you, in fact, built the the uh, tool on businessesforsale.com that helps people value their business completely for free yep. called Value Right. And I know it was like a five years development, correct? Well, I think from a kind of conception of trying to understand what the best approach is for valuing the kind of businesses that are bought and sold on businessesforsale.com. So uh, we had to find a, a model which was going to be universal enough that was going to be able to be applied as a methodology uh, to the volume end of the market. The, the, and and for us, you know, we didn't want to make it overly complicated and too accounting heavy, which can easily happen in the world of valuation, certainly with, with DCF, et cetera. Uh, uh, when you in, say DCF, just to explain yeah. to our viewers okay. and, and people that are interested in following businesses.com yeah. developments, what is DCF? Discounted cash flow. Uh, it's what DCF stands for. And it's uh, a methodology that allows uh, the present value of a business to understand what it's worth today based on its future cash flows. I mean, uh, SDE model, which is what Value Right uses, seller's discretionary earnings, it's a cash flow model as well that's based on cash flow, but it's looking retrospectively and it's a multiple of that retrospective cash flow, historical cash flow. DCF is about not looking at the, the rear view mirror. It's about looking forward about what the, the opportunity is going to be for future cash flows. So what you're saying is this, discounted on- cash flow, in a sense, is uh, for a buyer, is an expectation of what the business will do in the coming years. That's right. But so is SDE as well, the, the methodology Value Right uses, because you're predicating the future based on what the past uh, has demonstrated and shown. Um, and what we do typically with SDE is crystallize the value. We effectively assetize the value, if I can use that word. We put into uh, a, a crystallized value into a, a kind of concentrated amount of cash flow that you effectively are buying off of a seller to allow you the opportunity to then be in business and work the, the the cash flows from there. The seller's discretionary earnings model is uh, something that we do use as a valuation tool on with value, right? Absolutely. That is the predominant methodology. It's a multiples based valuation. So you take the historical uh, cash flow typically as recent as the last 12 months, the trailing 12 months, and you crystallize that cash flow, adding back any cash that has been taken out by the current owner through benefits and earnings. Uh, so you make those adjustments and value right. The program we have on businessesforsale.com helps with that process of extracting out the, the, the cash that effectively otherwise it's going to be left in the business because the, the current owner has walked out. Often what's banded about in the sort of sort of business for sale industry, as it were, the sector, the space, mm. uh, and in mergers and acquisitions, is this idea, even in uh, seller's discretionary earnings valuation, that typically, typically 80% of businesses that are successfully sold are done so on a multiple of profit ranging between two to seven or eight years worth yeah. of profit. Is that roughly about right or am I completely in, in an SDU model, it's yeah, 
it, it, if you look at all the averages of all transactions historically from comparables databases that exist out there, from our experience of selling businesses, and uh, you'll find that it's typically around two to three times the cash flow. Remember, not the profit necessarily. It's a profit that's been adjusted to accommodate cash that is being used up by the current owner uh, through uh, abnormal expenses uh, that may then not be carried forward into future ownership uh, and be a burden to that future owner. I mean, they may assume some of those costs as that current owner, but that's for that current owner to decide. Um, so when the when the valuation is done and crystallized, those adjustments are all taken into account. Uh, so baseline is profit, classic EBIT profit that you then adjust against other expenses including the current owner's expense, any interest on debt that's being paid that otherwise would not be being sold on, uh, that usually stays with the the existing owner uh, or what would be the old owner. Uh, and then, of course, things like accounting uh, costs like depreciation, amortization, etc. These are expenses that can then get added, added back to the cash flow. How does it work practically for a business owner that, comes to businesses for sale yeah. and typically um, they may have a succession issue. They may be looking to retire or they may need, look, be looking to crystallize their wealth and move on to the next opportunity. Um, how does the value right tool, the application that we've built on businessesforsale.com, how does it practically work for the business owner in terms of the time he that it's needed or the information that's needed to kind of put the right data in to get the best, fairest valuation possible. Yeah, it's a form-based system. And we, we like to hold the hand of the, of the owner here uh, and not bamboozle them with too much uh, in the way of accounting terms or any jargon, et cetera. We try and simplify and reduce the complexity of this and actually demystify in many ways what the process requires to get to that valuation. So it's a step-by-step -step process, form-based process, uh, and we take that owner through that process. And it typically takes about 45 minutes, an hour of stepping through what I think are relatively simple questions. Uh, we've purposely made it uh, easy and accessible uh, so that we take that owner through that process. So they get to the end goal of actually understanding what they're, they're sitting on in terms of, of the value of their business. And they are able to invite their professional advisors into that process if they were needing to bring in um, sort of more documented data like year-end accounts sure they could they can ask their cpa or accountant uh or a business advisor into the equation uh to help get that information but the idea is is we've really made it as simple as possible for anyone who is in business to understand their own business through uh this simple process of what value right requires to get evaluation and really, at the core of a successful business sale, the successful mm. transa transaction is valuation. Like everything in the process of buying and selling a business always goes back to valuation and I a fair that, valuation. I think the initial point of discussion, A, you as a seller understanding what you're worth, knowing your own worth of your business, that's obviously got to be a good starting point. I think there is possibly a bias of all owners of business that they overvalue their business. And I probably would be in the same boat. And what, what we try and do with value right, right is to ensure that we have an objective standard by which we're measuring that value by based on and predicated on what happens in the real world. Uh, and the SDE is predicated on multiples that are industry specific, that are grounded and based on historical uh, benchmarks that are used in industry at uh, large. So we try and ground the expectation valuation in reality um, and allow that owner the opportunity to really understand what they're worth, which then frames the discussion, I think, for any sale and how you can then 
obviously present the value to a, a prospective buyer. And of course, it works the other side as well. I mean, if I was buying a business today, I would definitely run the numbers through value right. I would elicit the information from the seller that would then allow me the opportunity to really understand what I'm buying. And if you think about it, a valuation that is roughly two to three times uh, the annual time it takes for that cash flow to be generated is quite a remarkable return on investment, if you think about it. You, you have to wait 20 years for the money that you put in a bank that is paying 5% yield to get that money back out that you've deposited. Because remember, that money is excluded. It's It's been put to use. So to get a return in two to three years, especially what you're saying when you're buying a business with a multiple of two to three times, uh, I think uh, shows that it's a really attractive business opportunity, uh, an investment opportunity for where an investor can put his money to buy a business in the, in the SME, SMB world. Especially when that business has hit certain milestones, hit it maybe yeah. its fifth birthday or its 10th birthday or even its 20th birthday, you're really buying credible success. Credible and predictable. And there's value in that too. Um, I just think at the volume end, because there are so many businesses, it's, uh, it's a wash with opportunity for these types of businesses to be bought and sold in the world. Um, and it's not the preserve of big M&A when you're dealing with very big numbers. The access to capital to buy these kind of businesses is there in the world, uh, even with interest rates being what they are uh, currently. I think it's an attainable means of actually buying wealth and get access to that wealth and to ultimately entrepreneurship. Andrew, thank you so much for that very comprehensive introduction to the importance of valuation and how we deal with valuation on businessesforsale.com through the value right tool and i'm going to drop a link in the description below to value right as well as maybe some other educational links sure. to some of the terms that you've described such as sde and discounted cash flow um, Andrew, thank you again. Uh, and uh, we look forward to further conversations as we go deeper into valuation in the coming talks that we do with you. I look forward to it. Until then. Bye, Andrew. Bye for now.